This is Dr. E with 45 Surf University. This was a fun book to write a couple years ago on uh, Stoicism. I'm currently working on some other books based on Stoicism. This one's titled Epic Stoicism. Seek Socrates' virtue in art, science, and philosophy. Heal the blind. Exalt in the riches of Epictetus's, Aurelius's, and Seneca's wisdom. The description of the book reads, Epictetus exalts Socrates. The very last words of Epictetus's noble Enchiridion are spoken by Socrates. Credo, if it thus pleases the gods, thus let it be. Anitus and Miletus, they may kill me indeed, but hurt me they cannot. While elaborating on his own personal story, on how he exalted Stoicism to its deserved heights across numerous fields, including innovative technology, which is now helping the blind see, epic fine art landscape photography, and the science of light time dimension theory, Dr. Elliot McGookin provides commentary on each of the verses of Epictetus's wonderful Enchiridion, the classic Sto Stoic manual for the good life. Stoicism is a far greater and more exalted philosophy than it is oft given credit for. While Socrates was celebrated by Zeno, Epictetus, Aurelius, Seneca, and every other formidable, formidable Stoic, today he is largely ignored by the marketing Stoics, the mixed Stoics. In this book, graced with dozens of Dr. E's epic fine art photographs, the spirit of Socrates is resurrected, celebrated, and exalted. This book will inspire, mentor, and guide you in helping you to exalt your art, business, science, philosophy, and life via Stoicism's higher soul, as inspired by the likes of Epictetus and Socrates. When writing on the Stoics, the great philosopher Bertrand Russell stated, Socrates was the, was the chief saint of the Stoics throughout their history. His attitude at the time of his trial his refusal to escape, his calmness in the face of death, and his contention that the perpetrator of injustice injures himself more than his victim, all fit imperfectly with Stoic teaching. So did Socrates' indifference to heat and cold, his plainness in manners of food and dress, and his complete independence of all bodily comforts. And that was Bertrand Russell from A History of Western Philosophy, 1945, Book 1, Part 3, Chapter 28, Stoicism, page 253. And yet, in book after marketing book on Stoicism, Socrates and thus Stoicism's higher nature are ignored. Well, consider this book a return of the King story. This book views Stoicism not only as a noble destination, but as a gateway to the exalted logic, geometry, science, and epic Homeric poetry of yore, which can inform and guide all future ventures in art and entrepreneurship. Best wishes on your epic Stoic journey. And basically, uh, Stoicism was founded by Zeno. Uh, who had been shipwrecked on an island and uh, having lost everything, he was wandering about town and came across a bookseller selling some of uh, Socrates' works. Uh, basically, I, I mean, Plato had written them, but when Zeno read them, he wondered more about who is this Socrates character. He marveled at uh, all of Socrates' teachings and Socrates' primary teaching is that virtue does not come from money and wealth and power and position, but rather uh, money, wealth, power, position, and every lasting good of man derives from virtue. So often it seems the world reverses this foundational tenet. And Socrates was told that this tenet corrupts the youth. And he was told if he did not stop teaching it, he would be sentenced to death. And at that point, they gave Socrates a choice. They said, either you can stop teaching this 
or we're going to put you to death. So Socrates told them, he said, he, he likened himself at that point to the great Achilles in Homer's Iliad. And you'll remember in the Iliad, Achilles was told he had a choice also. If he returned to battle to avenge the death of his good friend Patroclus, he would soon die himself. Or, instead of returning to battle, he could sail away and live a long, happy life. But when his friend was slain by Hector, the enemy Hector, Achilles did not hesitate to return to battle and slay Hector, knowing full well that it meant his own death. So Socrates marvels at that, and when his friends are uh, saying, hey, you know, you can, uh, you can just turn away and stop teaching that and live. Why not do that? But Socrates stated that had Achilles any thought of death or danger when it came to doing the right thing? No, he didn't. He didn't hesitate to uh, avenge the death of his friend. So Socrates, in doing that, uh, defined an exalted philosophy as an heroic act. He, he took action. Uh, so often we think philosophy is all about, well, philosophizing. Uh, just thinking and writing and uh, using flowery language. But Socrates really drove home the point that ultimately philosophy is about acting virtuously. And every single Stoic uh, adopted this from Socrates and made it their central tenet. In Zeno, uh, I guess the founder, founding father of philosophy, he didn't see that he needed a university or a college or an academy. So he taught from his porch, and a porch was known as Stoica. So that's where the word Stoicism comes from, that he taught the earliest classes basically on Socrates' teaching that Socrates was put to death for. Uh, he taught that as Stoicism. Anyways, this has been Dr. E with 45 Surf University. And uh, the book continues a little bit more with my uh, bio here, the description. About Dr. Elliot McGookin. Long story short, in physics and photography alike, award-winning physicist Dr. E has always chased the light. In high school, Dr. E received his first Pentex camera, as well as the Bausch & Lomb Science Award, the William Tenney Scholar Athlete Award, and the Judith Resnick Memorial Scholarship which helped him attend Princeton University to study physics. Dr. E's PhD research on an artificial retina for the blind, titled Multiple Unit Artificial Retina Chipset to Aid the Visually Impaired and Enhanced Hold Emit or CMOS Phototransistors, received several Fight for Sight and NSF grants, as well as a Merrill Lynch Innovations Award. The technology is now helping the blind see. And in helping students see, Dr. E won the Tanner Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching, as well as an honorary membership in the American Society of Physics Teachers. His fine art photography has received well over a couple billion views. Then uh, the Wall Street Journal wrote, after winning the Merrill Lynch Innovations Grant Contest for an artificial retina for the blind titled, Multiple Unit Artificial Retina Chipset to Aid the Visually Paired and Enhanced Hold, emitter CMOS phototransistors, he got to tour the New York Stock Exchange. Dr. McGookin caught the entrepreneurial bug. Eventually, he launched an internet company devoted to his longtime passions, writing and classical literature. So I hope you enjoy the book. Uh, basically, it takes you through Epictetus' uh, in, in Caridian and... Uh, kind of gives you some of my thoughts on the simple tenets and how they helped inspire my own pursuits of art, science, philosophy, poetry, and literature. This is Dr. E at 45 Surf University.